fermented black rice at the Phnom Penh restaurant, Vancouver. I would like to make fermented rice wine dessert. This is the very traditional dessert that Cambodian people used to eat because in the old days there's no ice cream, there's no candy. So most of the dessert they make is made from the glutino rice with coconut or whatever. But there's so many ways they can make with the glutino rice. So today I would like to show you how to make the fermented rice one. So first of all, you can get this black cucino rice from the Asian market. Uh, okay, I'll show you the back. Okay, so now I'm going to cut it up. Four cup of the rice. One. Two. Three. Okay, and then I will wash it. But that's a trick. Don't wash it with hot water or warm water. It's always wash in cold water. Cold water, okay? After you wash it, okay. I will show you. It's with cold water. Always with cold water, yeah. Yeah, because when you wash this with hot water and you see the black rice will come out the red color, that is the sticky of the, from the rice. Right. Yeah. So, okay, now I will pour out the water. And now I can fill up with hot water. Four cup. The same amount of water as the rice? Yes. No, not exactly the same. Normally you cook rice, four cup of rice, you put it to number four. Mm -hmm. But for this one, you need a little bit more more than because you want your rice more juicy. Mm -hmm. Here we go. For but how long? Normally this one take about after it dry and then we have to keep it in the cooking, rice cooking for steam it. So it take about at least one and a half hour. Yeah. So one and a half hour to cook the rice. I'll cover this. So, this is the rice that's already cooked. See how perfect it is? It's nice and moisture. When do you put the yeast in? Okay, very soon, Richard. Okay, now, I'll show you. This is the yeast I use. It's a Shanghai dry yeast. For four cup of rice, I use two bowls, two of them. Yeah, but I'm a very traditional old old school woman. I don't use <laughs> I use this one to ground it, smash it. And that's Shanghai dry Shanghai dry yeast. yeast. Yes have to be very fine. And that's the traditional way. Yes. Here you go. Oh, uh -uh. This is done. I'm going to scoop all the rice out from the pot. Put it in the tray first. before I put it in the clay pot because that way it's more easy to mix it okay and I will add some sugar four tablespoon this sugar doesn't mean make it sweet it's make it easy to ferment it. Yeah. 
So I put sugar when it's warm, when the rice is warm, and mix it up. Mix it up. And then I'm going to put the yeast that I've been mastered in the mountain. So two yeast ball is perfect for four cup of rice. Mm -hmm. Too much, too less, it's still not work. It has to be perfect. Yeah. So I have to mix it all up until all the yeast are melted. Who taught you to make this? Uh, so you know, I asked a woman how to make the rice wine and he taught me this is the way. And I think, okay, in our way to make the pie should be the same way. So I do it the same way that he taught me and I add some syrup in there and then it's perfect work. But it takes me so many times to ferment it, it's rice wine and now I am success. Every time I make it come perfect. For the first few times I always not in a good job. Always well I had lots of more with anyway, put this slumber and then I cover it up. You know, it's nice to have saran wrap. In the old days, they don't. They have to wrap the cloth like this. Yeah. yeah. And they have to rub it. And then in a big blanket, they rub it, in, rub it up. But now, it's very good. We have saran wrap. So we wrap it off. All done now. Uh, normally, they wrap it in a blanket to insulate, to let the rice warm and then it's easy to ferment it but for me because I make this in the restaurant it's much easier for me sure. yeah so I, I put it like that and then I just put it on the top of our you know why I put it on the top here because it's kind of warm here Right. Yeah. So it only takes two days to ferment it. But normally, if you're at home, you have to rub it in the blanket and put it in the dark place and then a warm place. So it takes about four days to ferment it. So my way is easier. Only two days. The one that I fermented. You you see there's some... Uh, mm. Yeah. But you still have to add a little bit of syrup. Yeah. Yeah. In what um, kind of syrup? It's just just boiled sugar and just water. Just boiled sugar and yeah. water. It's the sweet. It's the taste as you like. So. But you haven't put any syrup in this maple syrup or anything like that. Oh, no, no. Yeah. We just put sugar and water yeah. boiling. Yeah. And this is the fermented rice that I make. Thank you so much. Yeah.